Yep. Here we are. Here we are. FIFA 20, man. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you guys are into sports betting, check out FloraBet. I'll leave a link in the description where they provide a telegram of very good forecasts. Bad joke, I know. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I have for you is a 50,000 coin Premier League squad builder that is ridiculously OP and, in my opinion, going to be fantastic to use in Foot Champions. Now, if you want to see me use this squad in Foot Champions, let me know down below. And if you want to see me use other value squad in Foot Champions, then let me know that too in the comments down below. I am looking forward to trying out a bunch of different squads, a bunch of different price points, um, and seeing sort of what kind of squad works really well. Try and figure out a formula for an insane squad in FIFA 20. So, Without further ado, I guess we sort of go into it. I will show you my custom tactics and talk about that too as well. Now, um, I do have some clips at the end of the video for you guys to see as well. I went and played against some of you guys, so follow me on Twitter if you guys want to be involved in the next time I do a squad builder. I'll just tweet out and see if you guys want to play some FIFA, and then you guys can invite me, or I'll invite you, and we'll play some FIFA in friendly. So that's what I did, which is why the players don't actually have stats on their cards, because I totally forgot that the, the friendly games don't actually count towards stats on cards. Regardless, um, starting off in goal, we actually have um, obviously a Premier League goalkeeper. Um, we actually have a Spanish goalkeeper here by the name of Guaita. Uh, 79 rated non-rare. He's got decent stats in game. He's six foot three with 80 diving, 80 reflexes and 80 handling. Um, the reason why I went with this card is because he's only 550 coins. He's cheap. Um, and looking at the other goalkeepers uh, for a similar sort of price point, he definitely stood out the most. Now, you could uh, obviously spend more and get someone like Kepa. But aside from Guaita, Kepa and then the higher end goalies, I don't see a huge difference in a card, for example, like this versus a card, for example, like Bernard Leno or like Schmeichel, two players I have used. Um, this guy seemed just as good. Uh, he makes decent uh, saves and he does really well actually coming out of the box as well. 51 speed is decent for a goalkeeper, especially a six foot three goalkeeper. Um, I think he's a well rounded goalie for uh, a cheap price. And I recommend if you guys are looking for a very cheap goalkeeper, go with someone like this. Now, going on to the right back spot now, we don't have a Spaniard. We have someone from the USA, in fact, uh, if I can find the USA. Where is it? There we go. United States. We have, as you probably already guessed, DeAndre Yedlin. Um, this guy is a little bit more expensive. I think he's about 3K. I'm not entirely sure. Actually. Let me check Footbin for uh, an exact price on Yedlin so I can tell you guys right now exactly how much he is. Yedlin currently goes for about, uh, I've just switched, <laughs> 4,800 coins. I think for that kind of price, you're not going to find anyone better. Um, right backs are quite expensive this year, especially the good ones. So I think that if you're looking for a decent right back, Yedlin is your guy. I don't think you find anyone uh, better than Yedlin for the price. Now, um, he's incredibly quick. His defensive stats, interceptions and he heading accuracy really let him down because he's got decent defensive awareness, good slide tackles and good standing tackles as well. 85 jumping, 86 stamina, 76 aggression, only 58 strength. But realistically, um, for me, I tend to jockey the front uh, of the player a lot. Um, sort of the way I defend with my players, especially my right backs and left backs, is I try and get in front of the player and then jockey so that uh, if you're going in on the side, I feel like sometimes the attacker gets the ball a lot more. And the good thing about him is he's got 85 agility and 77 balance in game, which means he's, he does well getting around plays and things like that. Really, really good right back for the price. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, I would recommend if you guys are looking for a decent right back. Now, the first centre back is going to be from the Premier League, obviously, because they're both from the Premier League. It's going to be Eric Bailly. Um, This guy is literally about a thousand coins and he's actually actually really really good he feels ridiculously quick considering he's only got 76 pace um he jumps really high he's very very strong in game he's incredibly aggressive got great defensive stats um and he feels really quick in game he feels like he's really quick off the mark um he makes some really good tackles and he's always there when you need him and uh being six foot one with decent jumping and decent strength he just feels like he's very very strong at the back against most attackers um and he does a really solid job of being at the back so if you're looking for a cheap premier league uh, center back um buy is a great one another great very cheap Premier League centre-back is, as you guys probably already know, one of the most OP centre-backs in the entire game. It's Joe Gomez. Um, this guy is about a thousand coins. He's literally about 1k. He's got 81 pace for a centre-back. That is ridiculously good. He's got great defensive stats. He's got 79 strength, which obviously I've changed uh, to have higher strength with um, with a backbone chemistry style on. Because uh, I think that the stats he really needed improving here were a little bit on the defence. You know, for example, um, his slide tackles could do with a tiny bit and his defensive awareness a tiny bit, uh, but not too much. But I feel like his passing could do with an upgrade because his passing isn't amazing. Um, he's jumping a little bit as well, but his strength needs a bit of an upgrade too. Um, but he's six foot two. He's very tall. Um, 
Um, and he's a great presence in the box, especially against uh, the taller, stronger attackers. And he's really quick. He catches up with a lot of uh, attackers as well, especially fast ones. Um, you won't find that a lot of players get in behind him very well. He's a great, great centre back. Now, moving on to the left back now, um, we have actually gone with Kieran Tierney. Now, this guy, again, is quite expensive. Um, I think left backs and right backs just naturally are quite expensive from the Premier League. Kieran Tierney currently goes for about three. Oh, he's only 3,000 coins now. He's actually dropped down a lot in price. Um, Great pace, 88 pace. Uh, I've actually improved that with it at Anchor Chem Style as well. Um, he's got 89 stamina, 80 jumping, 76 strength. So he's he's quite strong. He's only five foot ten, but that's not small for a, for a left back or right back, especially um, uh, in the in this game. I feel like five foot ten is definitely decent. Um, he's strong. He's got decent defensive stats, good dribbling stats too, which I think matter a lot. Um, he's left footed on the left, which really works out well as well uh, with the high high work rates. He's up and down the pitch all the time. Doesn't run out of stamina as well. He's a fan. Fantastic, fantastic player. Highly recommend him. Now, moving on to the left CDM now. Um, now, I actually play players... I actually start in this formation and change to a different formation in game. So, left uh, left CDM or left centre mid. We have actually got Torreira, who's about a 1,000 coins. Great in-game stats. Um, 75 pace, which is decent. He's got really good defensive stats. 84 defensive awareness. 86 interceptions. 84 stun tackling. They are great stats. Uh, his dribbling's fantastic as well. 85 agility. 93 balance, which means that when he's in a strength battle, for example, he won't get thrown to the floor very easily um, and I really like that about him 77 passing is good as well um, and decent physical stats too he's a very very good player on and off the ball um, and I do really like him in the CDM spot I feel like he is just a very very good uh, all-round player in the uh, in the CDM spot um, he just runs around buzzing around plays like a little bee uh, just you know stinging here and there aka tackling people and I think partnering with a pretty tall CDM and you've got a great partnership he feels really good in game and I would highly recommend him for a thousand coins now the right CDM or playing middle center mid in this team is going to be another CDM it's actually going to be uh Gubamin, I think that's how you say his name I'm not entirely sure now he's six foot one he's a little bit taller um he's a little bit faster as well actually but he's got more physicality about him you know he's got better strength he's got better jumping he's taller got better aggression wins a lot of headers in the middle of the pitch um definitely better against the bigger rootier sort of midfielders um, and I feel like he is everything that Torreira is missing and Torreira is everything that Gibamin is missing. Um, obviously Torreira's got the better dribbling, he's got the better passing, he's got the better um, moving forward sort of uh, sort of stats and then Gibamin uh, uh, is, is just a lot better more defensively sitting back in the pitch you know um taking his time really going in really hard for tackles that's why i like him a lot i would recommend both of those as a cdm partnership for about two thousand coins really cheap very very good players and then at cam we have gone and got jesse lingard who i don't know what it is about this card he's only three thousand coins this card feels broken this year, and I have no idea why. You'll see some of the highlights here. I think he was my top goal scorer in the games. Obviously, I can't track it because friendlies doesn't track stats, but he has got fantastic dribbling. Uh, 86 and 84 for balance and agility works really, really well. Good composure. Only 77 finishing, but that's not the end of the world. We improved that with a Hawk Chem style. Um, good shot power. Decent uh, long shots. Decent volleys. Decent penalties. Um, his vision is good. Uh, 89 stamina as well, so he doesn't run out of stamina. He's a very, very good player this game. He feels so overpowered and broken very very highly recommend uh, Lingard he's a fantastic player uh, moving on now to the left wing we have got ourselves Trossard from Brighton brand new transfer now he's only got 83 pace he's actually a little bit on the slower side um, and I say slower side because he's got 91 acceleration but only 76 sprint speed so what you'll notice is you pass the ball to him and he's out like a rocket like he just goes straight away but he ends up slowing down a little bit and players tend, tend to catch him a lot but he's got great agility and balance 80 finishing plus 82 composure works really well. It's actually 94 finishing with the um, with the sniper chem style. Um, and it's actually 87 composure with the sniper chem style. He works really well as a cam. I, I play a 4-2-3-1. And he plays fantastically as a left cam. Uh, he gets out really wide and cuts in really well. The agility and balance makes it really easy to close quarter dribble in and out of defenders and things like that. And he works really well. I, I just really like this card. I think this card is actually a fantastic card for only uh, 1.6k. Um, I think that if you're looking for a decent left wing, although he's not the fastest, you can improve that with a chem style if you want to. Um, he gets off the mark really quickly and if all you need is a bit of acceleration then he's definitely your man uh moving on now to right wing we've got someone a little bit more expensive we've actually gone with william um now he's about thirteen thousand coins but he is very very good in game he's a fantastic player four star four star high high work rates do let him down a tiny bit sometimes he's not up the pitch enough uh i put a marksman chem start on him to improve dribbling shooting and physicality he's got 87 agility uh 79 balance uh he's got 82 ball control 88 dribbling in game uh with fantastic uh passing stats good shooting stats as 
as well. 87 finishing in game. Um, decent shot power. He's got decent long shots. His acceleration is really good as well. And he's fa he's fast. He just feels like a really fast, nimble player. Gets in the right positions at the right times and makes some really, really good passes. Now... Up top to finish off the team, we have got the most expensive player in the entire team. It is Jamie Vardy. He's about 20,000 coins, roughly, something like that. Um, 88 pace, 81 shooting, 75 physical are his standout stats for me. Um, now, he's not amazing at weaving in and out of players, but what you'll find with Jamie Vardy that I really like about him is that he just darts through players really easily. He leaves a lot of defenders um, just in the dust, really. Um, he's incredibly quick. He's got a fantastic shot on him, um, and he's just always in the right position with amazing attack positioning, really good finishing, decent composure would highly recommend him so that is the 50,000 coin overpowered squad in terms of my custom tactics what i play is i play a 4 2 3 1 um and this is the only one that i play so i play drop back with two depth and four width uh long ball with max width and max players in the box three corners three free kicks i do i uh, yeah i understand i'm playing drop back but everyone does you really cannot actually beat people these days without doing it in my opinion because you just get hit on the counter too hard um in terms of the formation this is how i play it with uh, with the three cams two cdms and of course a back line Jamie Vardy playing as a lone striker. I've got getting behind and stay forward for Jamie Vardy. I've got stay forward for all three of my cams and nothing else on them. Terrera and Gabamin both have stay back while attacking and cover center. And then DeAndre Yedlin and Tierney both have stay back while attacking. I don't have any uh, goalkeeper um, custom tactics. And then roles, for example, uh, I have... It hasn't saved in this, but I will show you what it looks like uh, roles-wise. Um, we Okay, it hasn't even saved. But you know what? Uh, basically, Willian takes my free kicks. Uh, Vardy takes my penalties. And that is pretty much that for that. Willian takes my corners as well. So that is a team. I'm going to play you guys some highlights. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. A little bit longer for a squad builder, but I thought I'd give you guys more of an in-depth squad builder. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you lads later.